Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here and it's time for Curtis's second Beyblade tournament. And today we're doing a little differently than we did in the last one. Of course, we have more Beyblades than we had last time. So I figured we're going to switch it up. So I've made an bracket, which I've printed out here. Pretty excited about it. Uh, so we're going to go over every matchup that you're going to see. So I've ranked them. Uh, from who I thought was one through uh, the first 14, they all go in the first round. But these four have to battle to even get into the official tournament because uh, we have 18 Beyblades. So our number one seed is going to be Guilty Longest. I mean, it's pretty obvious that dude's him. Uh, the top six are ones that I use in my Beyblade tournament against Wanya. So those are going to be the highest seeds. Second's Vanish Fafnir. Third. Uh, we're going to have, where's third place? Uh, Dynamite Belial Nexus. Uh, fourth place is going to be Cyclone Valkyrie. Fifth, we're going to have Burst Spriggan. And sixth will be Gatling Dragon. Seventh, we're going to have Ultimate Valkyrie. Eighth, we're going to have Cyphoidix Cavalier. Ninth, we're going to have Astral Hello Kitty. Tenth, we're going to have Geist Fafnir. Eleventh, we're going to have... Oh boy, who's eleventh? Sword Valkyrie. Followed then by... This dude, Wizard Fafnir. Alright. And thirteenth is Union Achilles. And then 14th is going to be Harmony Pegasus. So they are all guaranteedly into the tournament. So as you see here on our bracket, these spots are the worst four Beyblades. These are the Beyblade Quad Drive and Quad Strike Hasbro Beyblades, which would be limited in the first round anyways. But we kind of narrow it down. So our first matchup, the 17 and the 16. So the winner of this has to take on Guilty Longest. That's going to be... Or we'll do 15. 15 is Chain Curbeus. I feel like this is the best of all the uh, ones that I have here. Uh, 16, we have Gambit Dragon. 17th is Ambush Achilles. And 18th is Guilty Linear. So uh, let's move these guys out the way. Let's move our bracket out the way. That is going to work in the first two, three wins will win the round. So, bring in our stadium. And bring in our launcher in our first matchup. We're going to have who gets to take on Vanish Fafnir. So we have Chain Curbeus against Guilty Linear. I promise you battles will get better as we go along. We got to kind of get the trash out of the way first. All right, quick battle here. Who's going to win it? It's Guilty Linear. Surprise victory there. Of course, three victories in a battle is needed to advance. The 18th seed up against the 15th seed. The winner of this will face up against Vanish Fafnir. Another win for Guilty Linear. So Guilty Linear is up 2 nothing on Chain Curbeus. A little bit of a shocking result there so far. Can Chain Curbeus bring it back? Let's see. Of course, if Guilty Linear wins this, it gets into the tournament. Uh, Chinker Base. The one that I thought was the best of all of them has lost to Guilty Linear. So Guilty Linear gets to join this group. 
Trinker Bayus is done. All right, Gambit Dragon against Ambush Achilles. Oh my god, I don't remember which one goes which spin. All right. Ambush, Achilles, and Gambit Dragon team in a set together. Gambit Dragon looks like it should secure this first victory here in this round, but will it? All it needed was one hit of Ambush, Achilles, and it was over. Uh, but that last hit took a while to come in. Gambit Dragon into the po oh my god, Gambit Dragon into the pocket. Ambush Achilles, Gambit Dragon tied one one, going into battle number three. Gambit Dragon with a quick hit of Ambush Achilles into the pocket. Ambush Achilles needs to win this round to continue, or it will be Gambit Dragon. Gambit Dragon is the 16th seed. Will it be the 16th seed or will it be the 17th seed with a chance in? Who's it going to be? It's Gambit Dragon. Who makes his way in? All right. Time to update the bracket. We had Guilty Linear. I'm glad that this bracket printed in... Uh, in black. That's pretty cool. Do I have another color pen? Give me a second. All right, that's a little bit better. That is, it's a pink pen. So as you can see, Linear and Game of Dragon are in. So we're going to go down this entire list now and see who wins. First up is Guilty Longest and Gambit Dragon. So Gambit Dragon does not get a break in the battles here. Honestly, is out of the battle instantaneously. Who would have thought? Again, first to win three here makes it to the next round. All right. Gambit Dragon hasn't even got up to speed. And Longus is already yeah, yeeted it into a pocket. So let's do Longus first this time. Longus is obviously the one seed. So let's uh, 
Let's see if Dragon can beat it at all here by going second. It, it's, it's not going to happen. Um, this battle's pretty much over. Longness gets the dub and moves on to round number two. So let's add in Longness here. All right, Astro, Hello Kitty, and Xyphoid X Cavalier are the two up next. Uh, let's put Hello. Let's leave Hello Kitty in its left spin mode that is currently in. Now we get proper Beyblades in the stadium. And the first win goes to Astral Hello Kitty over Xyphortis Cavalier. Of course, the winner of this will go on to face Guilty Longness. Hello Kitty with another quick dub. I don't even know what happened that time. It kind of just ended the battle. See, I think that this is an interesting way of doing this tournament. Um, you know, the previous tournament was really left spin versus right spin. Who was going to win? Right, X Cavalier with the dub that time. So it's interesting to have a little bit different of a battle where it's purely a bracket. Um, all right, who's going to get this one? Cavalier, I'd say, had that one. So it comes down to who wins this battle that gets to move along. Whereas these two are the ones that I put as the most equal. Uh, I put them at the 8 and the 9. So makes that that one... Ah, I'd have to put that barely to Hello Kitty. Just barely to Hello Kitty. So we will get Hello Kitty to move on. All right, next is Burst Spriggan against Wizard Fafnir. Of course, these are both in left spin uh, Beyblades. Spriggan in a left spin mode. Uh, Wizard Fafnir uh, being in a losing the battle mode. Uh, Wizard Fafnir is actually the Beyblade that came with this stadium, so it's a home battle for Wizard Fafnir. Uh, Spriggan's in its left spin mode. That's what I used it for in our tournament. Uh, and switching Spriggan is really, really difficult. Uh, so, Spriggan will stay in left spin mode throughout probably forever, honestly. That just launched on top of Spriggan and Mosk, so, I mean... That to me seems like an easy, easy move along for Spriggan. Not really much of a fight. All right, Union Achilles and Cyclone Valkyrie. Cyclone Valkyrie, the other Beyblade that came with this stadium. 
Wait, it's Cooney and Achilles in Cyclone Valkyrie. Hold up. Braun. Wait. I grabbed the wrong Valkyrie. That's what I did. All right. I grabbed the Valkyrie that came with the stadium. That's not up next yet. That should be up in a little bit later on. Union of Keys is my first Beyblade burst Beyblade that I really I actually picked out to use uh, and battle with. Place lower for being a Hasbro baby. That's another thing that has hurt some Beyblades here is being Hasbro. You get only one Takara Tomy Beyblade is out in round one so far. Um, and that's because we had two Takara Tomy Beyblades up against each other. Um, right now it's a 100% win rate. Cartoma Union Achilles is out. All right. So the first half of the bracket is completed here. It's hard to kind of read it. Uh, but Longness, Hello Kitty, Spriggan, and Valkyrie have moved on the top half of our bracket. Um, so far, looking through it, the higher rated seeds have won. Uh, in the top half of this bracket at least. Uh, Gambit Dragon beat Ambush Achilles. Guilty Loneliness beat Gambit Dragon. Uh, Hello Kitty actually lost, or actually beat Xyphoid Cavalier. Again, those two very, very close. Um, Burst Spriggan beat Wizard Fafnir. And Cyclone Valkyrie beating Union Achilles. So the only one that was an upset so far, I wouldn't even call it an upset. It's Hello Kitty beating Cyphoid Cavaliers to 9 beating the 8th. That's not really an upset. Uh, but there's a second half to the first round here. And next up is Dynamite Belil Nexus against Harmony Pegasus. So again, a lot of this battle in the first half is going to be you know Hasbro against Takara Tomy like there's a decent amount of Hasbro ones but I got more Takara Tomy ones but I'd be surprised if a Hasbro Beyblade came out in one I mean there's only three left uh, I don't think any of them are battling each other Basically, besides the first, you know, the, the 15, 16, 17, and 18, those are the only ones that battled each other uh, out of Hasbro. Because I think this is the highest rated one, maybe? Alright, win for Harmony Pegasus, though. Um, highest rated one. I think it's Sword Valkyrie. Yeah, Sword Valkyrie somehow this two got rated high. I think because the other Valkyries rated uh, kind of higher. Yeah, Union Achilles was a 13 against a 4. Harmony Pegasus is a 14 against a 3. So Harmony Pegasus is the second lowest ranked Hasbro Beyblade still in the tournament. Of course, uh, Guilty Linear is yet to go. All right. Dynamite Belial Nexus. One win away from going to the next round.
All right, Harmony Pegasus is eliminated. All right, Sword Valkyrie against Gatling Dragon. The highest ranked Hasbro Beyblade somehow. Takes on Gatling Dragon. This is going to be an interesting fight. What the fuck, dude? <sighs> All right, give me a second. Here we go. Basically what happened in the last round, Valkyrie must have taken a little bit of damage and I didn't check it for its burst damage. Um, I don't really know how this is the highest rated Hasbro Beyblade, I, I really don't. Um, Alright, up next is... going to be Geist Fafnir against Ultimate Valkyrie. The closest rated battle that we've had since Hello Kitty and the other dude. <laughs> uh, Union Achilles. Or uh, Hello Kitty and Cyphortix Cavalier. Right. I don't even know what that was. Did I like miss the stadium? Another dude has a spring part. So maybe that made it bounce. Come on, dude. All right, Geist Fafnir pulling through with that dub. Dice Fafnir once again pulling through. It didn't pull through that time. All right. Two to one. Of course, Ultimate Valkyrie does need to secure two more dubs to move on here.
Can Geist Fafnir have an upset here? And it does. Geist Fafnir beats uh, Valkyrie. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, the final battle of the first round is honestly the premier matchup. The number two seeded, Vanish Fafnir against the number 18. Uh, Guilty Linear. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> this dude got launched and then burst. Oh my god. All right. All right. One more burst to go here. And we can have all the Hasbro Beyblades. Out in the first round. Honestly, the only one that really had a chance would have been Harmony Pegasus and Union Achilles. Let's be honest with you here. So how Fafnir took enough damage to uh, go one click. Can the Guilty Linear do anything here against Fafnir. No, it can't. Shocking. Alright, so we have eight Beyblades left, including a Fafnir matchup. Alright, so this is a look at our bracket. As you see at the top, Longness, Hello Kitty, Spriggan, Valkyrie, Belial, Dragon, Geist Fafnir, and Vanish Fafnir. Let's jump into it. Guilty Longness and Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty strikes first. Beating Guilty Longness. That's surprising start to that round. Longness does come back and secure the dub for the second battle. We gotta get back to launching whoever won the previous battle. And Hello Kitty got bursted. Wow. Wow. Guilty Longness up two to one against Hello Kitty. And that's it. Longness has done it. Moving on. Hello Kitty is out. Alright, up next we have Burst Spriggan and Cyclone Valkyrie.
towards the winner of this will take on the one seed Guilty Long. Who's it gonna be here? It's going to be Cyclone Valkyrie taking battle number one. All right, who we got here in battle number two? Valkyrie's a solid dude. We should remember Valkyrie won the first tournament. Valkyrie won the first tournament and won its way on to my team. Having to beat Guilty Longness in the finals. So... It shouldn't be that much of a surprise to see Cyclone Valkyrie out here. It's more of a surprise to see Cyclone Valkyrie eating up the hits uh, from a Beyblade with the rubber on it, though. That, for me, is where the real surprise lays here. All right, Cyclone Valkyrie. Moving on for a rematch from Tournament 1 with Guilty Longness. All right, Dynamite Belial Nexus against Gatling Dragon is up next. All right, both of these Beyblades are right spinning so we'll just get our string launcher switch to right spin god damn it dude Gatling Dragon with a barely victory, even with a very late launch. I think if we didn't see the late launch, I think Dynamite Bill Next would have won the first round. But even with that, that kind of shows, hey, we're probably in for a Dynamite Belial Nexus victory. Of course, these are the uh, three and the six seeds. Every Beyblade that was on my team is still in the tournament besides Burst Spriggan. The only one that was not on my team that's still in the tournament is Geist Fafnir. Alright, that win's going to go to Dragon. So Dragon with two. Uh, Die Blue Nexus with one.
All right, this battle has gone the distance. Dynamite Blue Nexus 2, Gatling Dragon 2. Who's gonna move on to face the winner of our next battle? It's Dynamite Blue Nexus. Barely hanging on. All right, it's going to be the Fafnir battle, the two seed Vanish Fafnir against the 10 seed Geist Fafnir. Winner will take on Dynamite Belial Nexus. Alright, Vanish Fafnir with the first round victory. I mean, it's not too surprising. I think really what helped Geist Fafnir here was going up against a uh, right spin. I think we've seen another right spin here uh, instead of going up against the more evolved version of itself. Um... I think would be in for a better battle, but that was just a real shit on. I'm gonna be honest with you. Vintage Fafnir moves on. So the top four seated Beyblades have won. Who would have thought? All right, looking through now, you see Longus, Valkyrie, Belial, Vanish Fafnir. Cyclone, Valkyrie, the tournament's previous winner, and the three seed. Going up against the Guilty Longest, the one seed, the ace of my team. And the win belongs to Longest. Battle number two, if Valkyrie can survive in the center and survive this first, you know, barrage of attacks, it can win and it has, beating Longness that time, puts Cyclone Valkyrie in a good spot actually. Because I feel in this situation, Valkyrie getting to go first actually helps it because it can just establish itself in the center and put Longness having to attack. Oh, I'm going to give that one barely to Valkyrie, which puts Longness in a must win situation. It's a good battle for long this year, but can it outspin Valkyrie? Now let's use its attack up. I don't think it can. I think Guilty Longness is out. The one seed 
It's gone. It's Cyclone Valkyrie for the semi upset. I wouldn't put it as like a massive upset, but still beating the one seed, making it to the finals. It's Dynamite Belial Nexus against Vanish Fafnir. Now Vanish Fafnir is my won that battle but it did it did make contact so we will count it is my two seed uh it didn't get the chance to make the finals last time because i had to go up against longness and guilty longness i think is an interesting baby i think that it has it beats everything besides cyclone valkyrie uh, Vanish Fafnir's issue was it had to go up against uh, Valkyrie, or uh, go up against Guilty Longness. Alright, another win for Fafnir. The thing going up against Longness that really hurt it was the fact that it... Uh, it can't absorb, so it's whole thing's rubber. So who we got here? This is the four seed uh, Dynamite Blue. Oh, this is the three seed Dynamite Blue Nexus. That was the four against the one that we had. Okay. I should have put Valkyrie as the three. I really should have, but... Alright, I'm going to give that win barely to Fafnir, which means Dynamite Blue Nexus is out. And here we go. The finals. Fafnir against Valkyrie. There you go. You see it on here. Valkyrie versus Fafnir. Fafnir is the higher seed, so it must go first. Of course, these aren't high attacking Beyblades. So, okay, what was that? This is not going to be like a all out smash into the battle here. It's going to be a who can last longer in the center. Will it be Cyclone Valkyrie, who's made the finals twice, or Vanish Fafnir, who's here for the first time? I'm going to give that to a tie. So we're going to put... So with a tie, we're going to have a first to win two battles now. That will count as our first battle. If we get one more tie, though, it's still going to be first two wins. Very, very interesting battle taking place here in front of us. Who's going to get that dub this time? Gatling, Gatling Dragon. Whoa. Vanish Fafnir with the dub. All right. There you go. Fafnir can win this battle. It wins the tournament. That was close to being a tournament ender for Valkyrie. Here we go. This could be the last one. Is Vanish Fafnir going to secure the dub? Going to win this tournament? 
or are we going to see another another battle winner take all matchup Ooh, I'm going to have to give that one to Valkyrie. That looked super, super close. This is it. Valkyrie Fafnir. What the hell? What happened? That was so strange. That's another tie though. I'm so confused. That dude just took off up the stadium. All right, this could be it. This could be the final battle. Who do we think is going to win this one? I'm thinking Fafnir will pull it out here. Who's it going to be? I think it's Valkyrie. I think Valkyrie has beaten... Vanish Fafnir and has secured its second tournament victory. Look at that. The surprise that I was not expecting for all the Beyblades that I bought. Cyclone Valkyrie, two tournaments, two tournament wins. All right, that's that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one.